And can we also talk about real quick how tiring the holidays are? Let's talk about how tiring the holidays are. You got me falling. Falling in love, that's what you call it. You got me falling. Falling in love, that's what you call it. Hey guys, how are we? Don't mind my bleach shirt. Don't mind my bleach shirt. <laughs> today is, what's today? It's Monday. It is Monday. Hello, hello, hello. I didn't come with the vlog yesterday, which was Sunday. I was taking a break for my mental health. Y'all know we gotta, I love um, creating content for you guys. I love interacting with you guys, but I also love being sane and stuff like that just get in my own head so i just need a break but we're back and as y'all can tell from the title of the video hold on let me put y'all up I'm just chilling and yes i changed my hair again i put in my favorite you part i always put in this you part i just change like the side but i'm always gonna wear this you part this is like a year and some change going on almost two years with this you part never failed me too bad it's not available on Amazon anymore because I got it from Amazon and I'm trust me I've been looking for it too just in case I need to re-up and get something longer but they never have it in stock so yeah but if y'all watching the title of this video if y'all watch or saw the title of this video we're running away not literally but we're running away we're going to Target it is almost six o'clock it is late and we're running away. We're running away because I've been cooped up in this house and part of me taking a mental break, I didn't go anywhere. I didn't go on social media. I didn't post, film, nothing. So I've literally been in my house since Friday. Literally, since Friday, did not go anywhere. So today we're running Target. We are going to pull up and wherever Target takes us inside, we're gonna follow. We're gonna follow. Y'all know moms, we need a break, we need a mental break, we need to just release, we need to, it's a vacation time. Moms, I know the kids is home. Some people I know, like your kids still go to school up until like Thanksgiving. Georgia does not. <laughs> Georgia stopped Friday. Friday was the last day of school, so now they have this whole entire week of vacation and the weekend, all that. So I need a mental break. I need a mental break. I'm running away. Next, I promise you guys, next I'm booking myself a hotel room. I don't care. I've done that before, but I haven't done that in like a while. I've done that before. But let me tell you something. Best thing I've ever done. So that's coming next. That is coming next. It's gonna be a whole vibe too, I can't wait. That's coming next, but for right now, we're going to Target. <laughs> I don't think I showed y'all, but I'm late. I know I'm late. I'm late to the trend or whatever, but I did end up going to Starbucks and getting my um, Starbucks cups. I got two of them because I got two drinks. And they gave me my red cups. So I know I'm late, but this is from Starbucks Red Cup Day. So I got my cups. Whoop, whoop. Hopefully y'all got yours too. All you gotta do is order a drink, which you do anyway, so yeah. Also, I changed my fireplace around. Y'all was bugging me about having that one side of my fireplace like garland draped over. So I did it my way. Okay, I listened, but I still did it my way and I like how it came out. So I'm just showing you guys what it looks like. So this is how the fireplace looks now. Um, I spread out our stockings. And then as you can see, I did spread out the garland. Um, I did film this part, I'm not gonna lie, but I ended up chugging it because I just wasn't in the mood to upload any footage. So I kind of threw that footage away. But as y'all can see, I literally just spread out these pieces. I love these garland pieces, these added in pieces from um, Joann's. And then I just spread out, uh, it's everything. The only thing that's new is this red bow that I tied onto my bells but the bell garland i draped the log 
reindeer and nutcracker are down here because I feel like this is already a lot on the fireplace. So that's how it looks. I love it now. And I cannot wait to put the tree up. It's gonna look so good. And I added lights in this because, oh, it's beautiful. I added lights in this because um, I felt like that looked better because our tree also is pre-lit, so. Cute, I do like how this looks. And again, I didn't add the shelf yet. I just feel like it'll be too much clutter. Um, so. Yep, I love how this looks. I always want to put something right here though. I don't know, maybe I'll find like a little tree to put right here. But nonetheless, we'll have the big tree right here and now the fireplace is looking like this. It's already dark outside, like super dark, even though I know that um, it's daylight saving time, but I just feel like it got so much darker, like faster. I don't know if that makes sense, but. I'm like, dang, it's just not even six o'clock yet and you're already like super dark. But anyways, we are gonna go to Target. So I will see y'all there. My Christmas socks, sweatpants, a baggy t-shirt, this cropped um, teddy jacket. I don't even know where I got this from. Dang, where I get this jacket from? I don't remember. I'll try to link it below if I can figure out where I got this from. Now look at the tag. Um, my bag, go yard, and that's it. Like, this is exact, like, bumming it, but I don't even care because I'm escaping. I am escaping. We, you, you, and me are escaping. Okay, we're going to Target, mom run, wife run, on the run. Y'all, is it weird that I listen to Christmas music now like I know it's not time for Christmas yet like it's only November but I still listen to Christmas music it's funny because people are like it's not even Thanksgiving yet like you decorate right it's not not even Thanksgiving yet but I don't know call me crazy but for me I look so weird because it's like red light <laughs> Call me crazy, but for me, it's always been Halloween or fall, and then Christmas immediately after Halloween. Why is it so blurry? Okay, what do you put out for Hall for Thanksgiving? <laughs> you put out pumpkins? I don't know. I guess so, because that's like fall, Thanksgiving, but it's just weird because I always think that fall or pumpkins and fall and all that orange and brown that's for September and October that's not really November like November September and October are orange brown yellow whatever and then December and then November, December is green, red, whatever colors, black, what do you know, Christmas. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know what people want you to put out for Thanksgiving as far as decor. Like, what do you want people to put out? But yeah, y'all, I like when um, the city has like decorations. Like when I drive down the street, I like to see the wreaths light up and bows and just everything so cute i like that get in the spirit y'all get a spurt i like that okay let me i'm almost there so i'll see y'all when i get into target we made it y'all it's right there we made it walking in wet white that's why you should carry around these bad boys it's, they stack this up Everything is so nicely stacked. Um, they have these jars. Oh, you get two of them? Period. You get two of these. Uh, I'm about to get this because I can use this for my bath. Okay, y'all. I found the big calendar in this color. Yay. Okay. 
Ooh, what else are we gonna get? Do y'all, I have a whole list of things to get like that I actually need. So I should start with that first and then get like the other random stuff that I like. But of course, I'm not doing that. Of course, I am shopping for stuff I like first. Okay, yeah, I have a whole list of things to get. So I think we should stick with the plan. Whole list. Do y'all see that? Need some sand wipes. Y'all know we're gonna do the up and up, up and up. Let me look at my list, y'all, and cross off what I already got. Sandy wipes. Okay. Oh, I need, okay. So now we need to go get um, dish tabs. Sponges. Okay, we need dish tabs. I think I have a coupon from um, Target. Let me see my offers. Wallet. Save offers. Okay, I, yeah, Cascade is um, 50 cents off, so. I think I'm gonna get that one up there. I don't think that's enough. I think I'll get this one. I think it's like 50, 50 cents off. <laughs> 50 cents off. Yeah. I wish. What else do we need? We need paper towels. Okay, so I'm looking for the duster things. Oh, right here. I found it. This is what I need some dusters. I need dusters. I do need detergent too. Oh, okay, so I need detergent, but I believe I have a coupon for that. It says buy two, get free $5 gift card. That's not a deal. What the heck, Target? Do better, do better. That's 128, ooh, 150. We'll do this one, this was 11.79, it's 150. Four ounces. This one's only 128, so it's smaller. We'll go with this, up and up. And then I need paper towels and toilet paper. We're gonna do the Cottonelle, six roll. These. All right, I need to get vanilla ice cream because I'm vanilla ice cream. I passed right by it for some reason, but Okay, we don't get the cheapest. I just need vanilla plain ice cream. Ooh, vanilla bean. Yes, ma'am. So vanilla bean ice cream for Thanksgiving. So for the most part, I got everything. Y'all, I got the Christmas section to myself. <laughs> Well, not to myself, but like there's nobody here right now, so. Look. I've been looking for this um, tree collar and I can't find it. Oh, they have the gold one right there, but that's not the one I want. That's not the one I'm looking for. That's not the one I want. Yeah, I was looking for these bells, these gold bells to add on to my, um, where are they? I was looking for these gold bells to add on to my uh, dining room table for my place setting, but I can't find them. They said that they're in stock. I don't gotta go looking for them. I gotta go hunting for them. Let me check down this aisle. Oh, no, that's not them. They probably in this motherfucker package right here. That's not what it is. You know, for all my UK people, I used to hear about MS for the longest time. And it's funny how it's in Target. I wonder if they also have some like brands from America because I think M&S is definitely a UK thing. And they have like this whole M&S in like different UK treats. Y'all, so I do not have anything for my outside yet. My outdoors is not decorated. Well, I have stuff from last year, but I haven't put it out yet. 
and this year I am wanting to do Christmas lights around the house. I have pre-lit leaves, re leaves, I have pre-lit wreaths, but I don't have icicles. And I was thinking of doing like icicles. Mind you, I don't know how to do that, but definitely want to try it. I want lights for outside, y'all. That'll be the next project. Y'all, this chair, it doesn't say how much it is, but oh my gosh. I love it. I know I'm getting accent chairs for our room, and this is gorgeous. They have a bench too. They have the bench, which I love as well. I actually have this saved to get. Cute. All right, y'all. We made it. Okay, now real quick, this is everything that I got. Um, I got some vanilla ice cream, y'all. This, I'm about to clean my whole kitchen. Like, it's not that bad, but we were missing a lot of stuff, so we're about to do a clean with me real quick. But I brought some vanilla ice cream, vanilla bean ice cream is so good. The marshmallow whipped cream I got. I still got some laundry detergent. This is the topper for Macy's tree. I think it's so cute. So cute. From the Wonder Shop, this is only $5. Um, some candy cane popcorn, that was really good. I got some sponges, some fanny wipes, some dusters, mouthwash. Y'all, this smells so good. Orange clove, oh my gosh. It smells so good, so good. Some Cascade Platinum, um, what is it called? Dishwashing tabs. I needed some more Q-tips. I got these Snow Day dish soap, or Snow Drop, I keep saying Snow Day, Snow Drop dish soap. Some Bay Wipes, I got these canisters that were only $5 for two of them. Um, I'm gonna put these in the bathtub, I think. I don't know where I'm gonna put them at, actually. I might, I don't know where I'm putting that. I was thinking the bathroom just because I wanted to put salt and maybe something else on our bathtub. I don't take a lot of baths, but I need to start because they're relaxing. Some Q-tips, oh my battery's dying. Some bells for the table, some toilet paper, and some paper towels. So we're gonna put all this up and then we're gonna clean.
It's the 22nd and I just um, done getting dressed. I did my hair a little bit because I have a meeting. I have a meeting later, so, well, not later, soon, but um, I decided to like get dressed real quick. This is my outfit, guys. I have my New York sweatshirt. No, I don't have a bra. <laughs> I don't care. I have my New York sweatshirt on from H&M and then my sweatpants is also from H&M and then I have my slippers from Target. So I'm very, very comfortable. But I went to the grocery store. Oh yeah, I finished cleaning. Y'all see my house is so clean. I ended up mopping everywhere. Um, I cleaned upstairs too, like, but that was like yesterday or whatever, the day before yesterday I cleaned all upstairs and I cleaned all downstairs. I don't know, I like to clean before and after the holidays. To me, it's just like, I don't know, starting a clean slate and cooking in my house and it being clean. So I did that last night, I finished. So yeah, I went to the store this morning cause I forgot bread. 
and while I was at the grocery store, I walked past this like scent and I was like, oh my gosh, what is that scent? It smells so good. It smelled like a eucalyptus. It smelled like a eucalyptus, but I don't know. So it ended up being this soap, y'all. It's Zumbar Goat's Milk Soap. I got it in lemongrass. Oh, what I say, it smells so good. Mmm. I could keep smelling it all day. I could smell this all day. It's it's lemongrass, but it smells earthy. So it smells very zesty, lemony, but it also smells like earthy, eucalyptusy. Mmm. It smells so good. It is made by hand in small batches using a cold press method um where are okay oops and let me tell y'all something about the ingredients y'all see the ingredients wait can y'all see the ingredients can y'all see the ingredients the ingredients is everything that i can pronounce and no which is why i'm like on this kind of like health kick i want to start eating stuff and taking vitamins and stuff and just cleaning my body out and I know it's hard around the holidays because I am about to eat some ham <laughs> but I really want to like do better and have a whole health regimen so um it has 100% fruit grade olive coconut palm and castor oils in a goat's milk base so that's all that's in here. It smells so good. It was cheap too, it was like $3. Um, so I was like, okay. And then I ended up getting these. Wait, and then I ended up getting some vitamins. Um, I believe, well I think the soap was $5 and these were $3. So I got some ashwagandha. Um, so I got some ashwagandha gummies. Um, it's gluten free. Blueberry, let me taste one. Um, I end up getting these. <sighs> also, I'm gonna stay away from gluten. I'm gonna start really going for gluten free items because, um, oh, these are hard. Dang, I'd be scared of these because of my teeth. But I really wanna start. Mm. It's ashwagandha, radiola, passion flower, and chamomile. These taste like raisins. Again, ingredients tapioca syrup, organic king syrup, blueberry citric acid. Sodium such um, organic vegetable um, organic vegetable juice. It's not that I can pronounce. I also got B12 gummies. Y'all know B12. It's strawberry flavored. Let me see how these taste. The last one tastes like raisins. So I got the strawberry one. Mm. I knew the strawberry ones were gonna taste good. They definitely taste good. And then I have vitamin C gummies, which are orange. Dang. Y'all know vitamin C is just uh Wow. The orange ones taste so good. Wow. What I like about these gummies. Mm. All right, I need some water. Mm. Those are good. 
okay so i'm happy and you know what's crazy those gummies mind you i found all this at publix so if you have a publix go check them out um they could be also at whole foods or sprouts or something like that because green wise um they're like a i don't know they're like a organic known company so they could be at multiple you know places not just Publix but um you can you probably can get this online from their website if they have one just type in Zumbar I'm not sure but you know try it out because what I like about those gummies is they don't taste like those like artificial gummies that you get in the stores like I have some upstairs the woman's once a day or something like that like the, the the really like sugary chewy gummies not the ones that look like sour patches <laughs> but i don't like those either that's those two but the ones that are just regular gummies but they're so sweet and they look like fruit snacks those look like like the ones that i have upstairs those look like fruit snacks these are nothing like that they're very um my laptop y'all it's dead at my job to be honest this is quiet season i know it's quiet season so i'm just sitting here waiting it off but um if y'all know those gummies uh that are really like sugary and they remind you of like a fruit snack i don't like those these don't remind you of a fruit snack but they're not nasty they taste really good even though they they don't remind you of a fruit snack they still taste good so try them out because i love them i'm a fan i'm not disappointed at all all right y'all it's much later even though it may not seem like it because i'm kind of getting the same whatever element but y'all see miss patty's pie we are a patty pie family okay we love us some patty's pie especially macy but i got my amazon package I'm going to show you guys. I'm excited about this because, bless you. Because I'm actually going to start on this tomorrow. <gasps> oh my gosh. Y'all. I ordered the wrong thing. Look. Look how small these plates are. I am so dumb. I am so, I'm thinking these are the big plates. Why, I don't make these mistakes. I normally, I normally um, read my description, but I cannot believe, these were the vintage plates that I purchased. I should have known, because they were like $10. And I got 10 of them. And they're so small. Let me get my phone, hold on. I am so mad, y'all, because all of these plates that I wanted to buy will not come until Monday. <laughs> not until Monday. Thanksgiving gonna be over by then. Wow, I am so, dessert, plates, dinner. Okay, these are not even gonna be in stock. <sighs> well, lesson learned. Read what you buy because it may not work out. It may not work out. Who gonna eat dinner on this? Macy? I can't believe I ordered plates. And like, what was I thinking? Wait, Target has these though. Who's eating on these? These look like play stuff. Okay, Target has these. If y'all can see, y'all probably ain't gonna be able to see. Y'all see that? They're like natural wooded ones. If y'all can see, I don't know. See how they're like natural wooded, wooden ones? They're in stock and it's a 10 count for $5. They're dinner plates. That might be a vibe, hold on. Round shape, they're nine by nine 
inches. Good, because these are only 7.5. They're 10, microwavable safe. Not microwave safe. That's weird, that's confusing me. It says not microwavable safe, but it also says microwavable safe. These pack is a conveniently, these are conveniently disposable, so you never have to worry about the dish dirty after the event. These plates are from, okay, I think I'm gonna get these. There's only two left, so. Let me add these to my cart. They're only five dollars. What do you want? What do you want to eat? You don't know what you want to eat. Y'all better tell me. Should I go order something? I cannot believe that. Anyways, child, um, I don't really know what to do with these now because. I'm gonna have to just like bring these back to Amazon when I have time. I'll probably try to do it tomorrow because I honestly like, I'm, I can't do anything. I only wanna use these for dinner. I mean, dessert. I mean, I could keep them for dessert. I don't know, we'll see. I just like that was a waste. I could keep those for dessert. Excuse me. I could keep those for dessert. But it makes no sense because I can return those and like put those towards like the bigger plates. So it's a no. It's a no for me. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna keep them. But oh, my candle smells so good. Ugh, that's another thing. I'm gonna go candle shopping tomorrow. I want to get a couple of candles. I only have one candle left. Okay. All right guys, I'll be back after this. I'm almost done working, I think. So I'll be back. Okay guys, it's later on. It's not even late, honestly. It's um, it's not even late anymore. I'm in a bed talking to you guys. I feel like I'm always doing that, but I'm about to close out the vlog, so I feel like it's appropriate <laughs> to talk to you guys while I'm laying down. And nine times out of 10 when I'm laying like this, I have a little rant or topic to talk about before I close up the actual vlog, right? So real quick, I just have to say this, and this might not pertain to you personally, but then again, it might because I know I have a lot of mommies on here, but I can go deep into this conversation, but I'm just going to say the way that America sets up like the workforce area, it is not meant for women with kids sometimes. Like it's really not. And I feel like for us to make it work, we literally have to decide between our job and our kids sometimes. And it's just, it's really crazy. Even if you work like at home, like, even if you have a work-from-home job, it's like, yay, I work from home. You know, I don't have to go into the office, but it's still a tight structure. Like, you work from home, but your kids are in school, so they can get sick. They can, um, and that disrupts your, like, work ethic and day because now they're homesick. That plays a part into it, them being sick. And if they're home with you, it's like a distraction because they're in the background. It's just not fair. I don't I don't know how America like wants women with children to work, but they they don't set realistic expectations for mothers and working mothers. They literally make mothers brainwash us into like thinking that you have to put your kid last and then work. Like you're not dedicated, you're not, your priorities are wrong. You have to hustle, 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 work, 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 work. Like don't let your kids be a distraction, don't let your job be, don't let your life be a distraction. It 
And can we also talk about real quick how tiring the holidays are? Let's talk about how tiring the holidays are. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the holidays. My birthday. Like, I love that. Yay. But I had posted this on my Instagram and I was just like, I have to prepare a feast on Thursday, right? That's Thanksgiving. Those days up until Thursday, my kids are still hungry. <laughs> like, I'm supposed to cook? I'm tired. Like, do y'all see my eyes? I'm tired. And we get no break because we have no village because we're living. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what to do, y'all. I don't know what to do. Making it till I make it because at this point, I don't know what to do. Mm. Anyways. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. I don't know how long it was. Um, I decided that I'm going to go to Target tomorrow. I can't even, I thought about it so many times and I was literally sitting here in my clothes, contemplating leaving, grabbing my keys. And I'm like, I can't do it. Like, I can't do it. Y'all saw that I was just at Target yesterday. I took y'all with me. I can't go back out there. Of course I want plates, but I can't go back out there today. I'm just tired. So I'll go tomorrow. <laughs> I'll go tomorrow, get the plates. Um, and then, uh, I don't know. I was trying to, I wanted to look into getting some, uh, real like cedar or garland or pine, but if they don't have that at the grocery store, I'm not worried about it. I'm not about to run around searching for it. Yeah, guys, enjoy your Thanksgiving. I am filming for Thanksgiving. I don't know if I'm going to do like a separate, uh, vlog. I think I will. Like, I think I'll do a separate Thanksgiving vlog and post it Friday. Um, and then I'll do like a Black Friday shot with me vlog and that'll be like my weekend vlog for Sunday. That'll be three vlogs though, so I don't know, but it's just, I feel like if I, you know, this vlog is going up Wednesday and then next time I won't post till Sunday. And I feel like that's kind of like a big gap and <clears throat> that would be a lot for me to edit because I could chop that vlog into two so we'll see but thank you guys so much for tuning in again chilling with me coming to target with me i know i like to take out shopping so thank you so much for tuning in make sure you hit that subscribe button because guys we are so close to this 10k it is like tapping me on the shoulder like hey like come on subscribe please subscribe all you have to do is click the red button. It just takes that boop and that's it. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I will see you in my next vlog. Bye. Oh.